James and Flag Scott Smith were so alone, so they all just spoke to each other. Thomas decided he was so bored he didn't want to stay at home, so he decided to go on an adventure. First, I need to ask the Fat Controller. So, he did. Sir, can I go on a, a, an adventure? A big, big adventure? No, it's too dangerous. I have to do some more better jobs to get to do that, Thomas. You can't always just ask straight away. Okay, sir. I was just asking. Set up. Because he felt very upset. He arrived back to the sheds. He moaned. I I have to do more jobs to get on a, an adventure. And, and you might ask and he might say actually yes. Oh. An idea flew into Thomas's funnel. I don't have to listen to the fat controller. I can just do it if I want to. Set off to Cranky. Can you load me onto a ship that goes up to a place in like, in any in the world actually? Thomas, there's one coming in five minutes. So you just, I'll, I'll call you when it's been five minutes. Thank you, Cranky. I must set off to the branch line to get to to wait five minutes. Five minutes later, Thomas set off to go to Cranky. When Thomas was going to Cranky, he was he he didn't hear him calling. Thomas had arrived on time. Lifted him on to the boat. The boat soon set off to a place where Thomas has never been before. Thomas was very excited where we were going. It was a surprise for him. Whilst he was on the boat, he was like, why do I have to leave my friends? I should be meeting new friends at our place. When the boat was moving to the stop, Thomas was like was feeling very alone whilst no one was on the ship with him. Then the boat stopped when where there was an engine going to come on with Thomas. When the engine got loaded on, the ship set off. What's your name? said Thomas. Spencer. What's yours? I'm called Thomas. I'm the number one tank engine. This is going to be a long ride, Thomas. Five thousand miles? Five thousand miles? That's so crazy! But this boat takes slow. Ah! I should have not done this adventure, said Thomas. Oh, was you? Well, you're not smart enough to do it then, aren't you? I am smart and I am really useful, but sometimes I just get annoyed. Thomas was heading to the last stop. Like, like the last stop. He only had to talk to Spencer for the whole ride. Are you there yet? said Thomas. No, said Spencer. When they arrived at the last stop, the ship slowly slowed down to stop. Spencer moved up and said bye to Thomas, whilst Thomas was getting loaded off the ship. For meeting you, Thomas. Bye. Okay, Spencer. See you later, Spencer. The boat set off to to go to Spencer's place where he needed to go. Oh, I've 
came off the track. One of my wheels have came off the the track. Help! Stopped at the signal when the another engine was coming, but it was actually a faulty signal. James was about to set off. The points had switched, and James didn't know that. James sat off at the speed of sound. Thomas set off to see what else he could discover, but he derailed. He saw the trucks in the way, but he tried to put his brakes on, but it was too late. Ah! James was very upset that he derailed. James called for help. Help! Someone help me, please. Thomas was here. How are you here, Thomas? Uh, I went to, to the world. This is where I came from. This is where the ship came lifting me off. Wait, what? So we did this whole story for nothing? Yep, kind of. But it's still not the end. We've got more to do now. We need to get you off the rails. We need to fix the bridge. And we need to tell Fine Scotsman something. Oh, so there's a long way to go. Oh, yeah. Soon, James and the trucks were back onto the track. But James were really mad. Who put those trucks right in front of me? I don't know. Reserve back to Snapford. Heard the flying Scotsman calling. So we set off. Whilst James just bashed the, sh the trucks back to their place. Said the flying Scotsman. I found it. Well done, Thomas. You've been so then I must arrive at Flying Scotsman. He was very bad. What's the matter? said Thomas. My handle's missing. I did know, but they helped me, but I didn't know where my tender went from that. I'll find it for you, said Thomas. Set off to find it. Just stopped, because he saw something in the distance. Flying Scotsman's tender! Would Thomas get to reach that? I know! Driver! <coughs> yeah! The drivers coupled up Thomas and he set off. That's why you're the fat controller's number one engine. They all are. And this marks the end of the movie. Thank you.